What's going on, guys? Rudalinel here, and uh, I feel good. I mean, I'm happy. I got my summer project done. Uh, not so much my school summer project, but just just the project that I wanted to finish over the summer. Um, as you all know, there's that PHP JavaScript and jQuery thing that I've been working on, and uh, yeah, I finally got it finished just the other day, and it is it is fancy. It is just plain snazzy, dandy. It's uh, it's 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 foxy. It looks like a foxy mama. That's that's the best way to put it. My website looks like a foxy mama. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's really all this video is. It is just because I finished it. I finished it uh, just the other day, like I was saying. But I didn't record me. I didn't record writing all that code. But because I mean, it was a long thing. It was a big project, and I I did a lot of research while I was doing it, just trying trying to figure out one of the good ways to do this. So. You can see me just sorting through them again, because um, I, I go through it and I comment all of it, <laughs> just in case I ever have to go back here and look at all the stuff that I did. So I went back and I commented everything, explaining what I did and why I did this and all that stuff. So, so hopefully I don't have to explain all that to you guys. You can just read it in the video if you're actually interested. Hell, I don't, I don't know. But hey, um, so yeah. Um, I am gonna talk about what it does and stuff though. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, you can see me working with, I think I have the JavaScript file open first, you can see me going through that in jQuery, and I added a new functionality for the, uh, button thing on the contact page, so you can see me messing with that, um, and then there, and then I go into the PHP page, and that is a big, big, long file, I think that takes up the majority of the video, and then I take, and then I show you the CSS file near the end, I think, because I mention it as part of the PHP thing in the, in the comments, but, yeah. <laughs> so, um you're going you're going to end up seeing it in the video. You're going to end up seeing the jQuery sidebar. So you don't really have to go to the website and all and check it out, but that that'd be really nice. I'd really like that if you head over to the page. I might post the code, the PHP code on there because uh well, what am I saying? I'm losing my thought. I'm I'm trying to catch it with the butterfly net right now in my brain. Yeah, because you can't actually see the PHP code, but you can you can like view the source of the web page. So you can look at all the HTML, you can look at the JavaScript, but you can't see the PHP since that's server side. Uh, J JavaScript is client side, so you can just open that up in a text editor or something or whatever you want to do. But yeah, I'm gonna post all that. But I mean, you can see it here, but it's going by pretty fast, so you might not be able to actually examine it if you're the kind of person that is really interested in code and wants to know how I did this. But I mean, I'm not a professional or anything. It's just a, it's just a hobby and it's something I like to do for fun. So I mean, I think I'm good at it. I think I, I can't say for sure, but. Uh, <laughs> if you think some, if my code is worthy or something, you want to check it out, definitely feel free to do so. I mean, I encourage it. I want people to look at my stuff, see what I'm doing. That's why I do this job. That's why I have this domain, nelshow.com, and I post all my code for free. But there you go. Happy, happy, go lucky, joy, joy, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I don't even know. So I go over that. That's in the video. Um, but yeah, you click on a title. You click on 2011 updates, and that slides down. You click on, like, a month. You can click on August, and that slides down. And there's a, there's a little, the greater than symbol. Greater than symbol. Uh, what, do you, what do you even want to call them? I think it, like, I think there was actually, like, an internet meme. There was a poem where, like, waka waka or something. I don't, I don't know. And those, yeah, like, the alligator face symbol, the greater than symbol, the less than symbol, the waka waka, whatever you want to call them. I use that as an indicator for when, for when the month or that, or that, um, that slider, for when that's closed, when it's open, it changes to a V because that's kind of the only downwards facing vertical object we have on the keyboard. I might have been able to, like, import another font, and I might, like, I could have changed the color because that, sh that would probably help. But I'll probably attack that in another idea or something like that. So that's cool. That's all that does. It just helps the user know that, okay, I can click on these silly stuff like that. And then, and then the posts will slide down. They're separated into, into their months, into the years, like you can see. And then it grabs the, uh, the day, the day of the month that it was created. It sets that first. It has the hyphen to separate that. And then what it does is uh, inside the PHP file, it opens up that file, actually. And it looks through it, and it grabs the, uh, the header like the header two because that's the uh, that's the number and uh, indicator that I use for that header for that like header tag, and uh, we use that we and then we just chop it out. We look for the next for the start of the next tag, 
and then we get we get what's in between the header tag and the start of the next tag, whatever it is. It's usually a span because that's where I use for the date and the blog post. So it grabs that. So it extracts the title out of it, and then it sets that to become part of the for the the regular output. So this is an awesome thing for me as like as the actual web designer and the web developer because it it saves me a lot of time. I don't actually have to create a link for anything. It does it all on its own. It looks through my file system, it finds it, it creates a link for it, and it grabs a title. I don't have to do anything. I could just go onto my web server, type in touch, t the touch command to create a new file. I'll name it like, uh, I don't know, um, 12-4-19.php. 12 um, so then I'll organize into it like, okay, we found a file that was made in 2019, it's part of December, and it's the 4th of December. And then it just, it links to it in part of, as part of the sidebar. So that's cool, I don't have to do anything, all I have to do is make sure the file exists. And uh, it also, it's it's really slick because you, as the viewer or the user or the reader or whatever you want to call yourself, you can decide how much you want to see. So you don't have this big, long sidebar that I was talking about in plenty of other videos because that's just a big pain. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is a really cool thing that I'm really proud of. And I'm happy that it's finally done. And it gave me a chance to work with JavaScript. It gave me a chance to work with jQuery. And jQuery is tons of fun. I mean, wow, that thing is, it's so cool. There's, I, I don't know, I might even, like, make a little game out of it. Just <laughs> there, there, I've, I've wasted a lot of minutes just sort of, like, clicking around on the sidebar, like, okay, June, July, April, August, you know, I, I, keep, cl I keep clicking on the things and giggling <laughs> as it slides down slowly. Uh, but, yeah, now that this is done, uh, I can enjoy the rest of my summer, the, the, the last three days, I think, at this point. <laughs> and, um... But I need a new project. I, I'm, I've, I've probably got tons of projects going on already. There's the GMG UI suite that I can work a little bit more with. There's the Texas Instruments calculators that I can play with. There's a Nokia N900 that I can start making some Pi game and Pi GTK stuff. So I have plenty of stuff to do. I just actually got to decide on one that's fun for me. And it helps me learn. And it gives you guys something to look at and maybe something you can learn along with too. And that, that's fancy. That, that's, real, that's, real, that's real snazzy. That's dandy. So, yeah, that's awesome. And um so what's next? What should I what should I what should I jump on? What should I attack? Maybe uh maybe a forum? Eh? Eh? Wouldn't that wouldn't that be neat? A forum. Yeah. <laughs> but that's going to get into a little bit more more my sequel, which is cool. I I would love to do more of my sequel because that that puts me in the horde in the sort of a uh, hacking scenario. <laughs> sequel injection, fun fun stuff. It gives me tons of practice and it's cool. I like working with databases too because honestly, when I, I think about my future a lot and I think about okay, what what's a what's a future job for me? What is something I can do to be successful in my life? And um Obviously, it's obviously going to be something with computers, because that's obviously, like, what I do. It, it consumes my life right now. <laughs> so, but I don't know about being a, a programmer. I don't know about writing strict code. I figured that maybe, maybe like, a network engineer or a system administrator, I think that'd be fun, because every day there's something new you can do. There's a new... There's a new problem, like one of the one of your users in your infrastructure, like can't get the printer to work or something. So now I have to write like a Visual Basic script if they're working on Windows, or I have to I have to write a Bash script or something to maybe something PowerShell if they're still doing Windows. And I can just I I'm doing things that can be used to code, but they don't necessarily have to be used to code. I could just work with it in any way I want to, and that's and that's sort of fun, and that's. That's interesting. I feel like that's maybe the best way to like uh, do it, because <laughs> if that's what I want to be part of my life, I can still code. I have the option to code, and I'd only be working on projects that I like and I and I have fun with. And there's always something to make better if I'm working as like a system administrator. And that way, I can work with databases and MySQL and PHP and JavaScript because those are, those are just fun languages. They're not hard. They're not working with pointers and like more C++ things or like low level assembly stuff. But, I don't know, th those still have, like, their right place. But, man, they can get a little bit confusing. <laughs> Especially when you're used to, like, PHP and Python with dynamic typing and whitespace. All that beautiful stuff. But, okay, I'm running out of time here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can see that I'm really, really excited about this new thing. And uh, we still got a lot going on, and I can start pumping out new code. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, bye.